products that are on this website are cloth applied. And what we'd like to do today is introduce you to the Sprayco FD, which we can actually spray apply. So you might want to ask the question, why would we want to spray apply? When we cloth apply, if we have to apply six coats, you have to wait 20 minutes in between coats. When we spray apply, because we're not physically touching the mould with a cloth, we're only putting layer upon layer on. As soon as that layer is dry, we can put another one on with the spray gun. So for instance, if we were treating this mould, it would take us 90 minutes plus to apply, allow to cure four to six coats. With this spray gun, we could probably do that in less than four minutes. The spray gun that we use is an HVLP gun, gravity fed, not with uh, a pressurised container on the bottom. It should have a nozzle diameter of about 1.2 millimetres. It should have separate air and volume controls and you should be able to regulate the air pressure down to 2 to 2.2 bar. The reason for that is that we want to mist it onto the mould. We don't want to have lots of overspray. The other main advantage is because we're not using cloth, we're not throwing away product with the cloth uh, when we've finished using it. Um, one of the disadvantages is because we're not using a cloth, if there are any bits of lint on the mould, then we would take those off when cloth applying. So we must have the mould exactly as we want it before we go forward. So, Marble Coat Mould Cleaner, Marble Coat Mould Sealer, and then we apply the Spray Coat FD. Marble Coat Spray Coat is used in the following manner. Taking the top off the gravity fed spray gun, put in just as much as you're going to use. As always, top back on the can. So as we've said, the spray gun should be regulated down to 2.2 bar. The air screw should be fully out. The liquid screw should be fully in and turn it about three quarters of a turn out. Always off the job, test that we've got material coming through. Now, holding the gun at 20 meters from the surface what we're looking to do is find the speed of application where we produce a haze on the mould which dries in three to four seconds. Once we've got that haze, simply move it over the mould and ensure that you get an overlap of about 10 to 15 percent. Always keep the gun parallel to the mould surface and always move at the same speed. So we're now producing a haze which dries in about three to four seconds. The reason for that is that most of the solvent goes when we apply the material. Now you can either turn the gun round or turn the air cap round. In this case we can just turn the gun round and cross hatch. You'll notice there that we haven't had to pause between coats, we just simply let the previous coat dry and carry on with the next uh, product. It's always impossible to follow the contours of the mould, and remember a spray only goes where you point it. So, going back to this line again. Always the same distance. Always try and follow the contour of the mould. Always keep the speed constant and the distance constant. And you will have a lot of success with Spray Coat FD. After we've applied our six coats, and bear in mind once they're dry we can apply another coat, we simply pour the remaining product into the can 
and blow the gun dry. Give the container a wipe out. Make sure there's no more residual. Blow it dry again, and then that's fine. Only use this gun for spray coat. Don't use it for anything else, otherwise we're going to get contamination. So, we have our mould, we have our six coats of spray coat FD. Simply leave that 30 minutes, and then you can start moulding.